फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल एनीवे आई एम बर्सा बिश्वा फ्रॉम मेघालय शिलोंग आई वेलकम यू इन माय चैनल इन्फिनिट ग्रीन एनीवे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू यू नो टेल यू अबाउट दिस रूबी नेकलेस और स्ट्रिंग ऑफ पिकल्स वी कैन से सो अबाउट दिस हाउ टू प्रोपोगेट एट वाट टाइम वी कैन यू नो वाटर आवर सकुलेंट so the small small tips i am going to share with you friends okay this succulent is characterized by you know slender glossy thick and fleshy oval shaped green leaves and with reddish purple stem see how beautiful it is it is quite interesting thing to share with you about this ruby necklace succulent is that the more you is exposed to the you know sunlight the greater the color as in when you expose to the sunlight you know the entire green leaves will be turned to reddish purple okay and i really must say you know it is the one it is one of the most beautiful succulents i ever have seen really it is actually you know trailing succulent it always goes with you know when you keep in the hanging pot then you know near the window sill or in the balcony hmm because it is a trailing succulent or hanging succulent you know it will be very longer so this is what it's called trailing succulent and it's very pretty and very easy to grow also करते दिस रूबी नेकलेस यू नो आई बॉट लाइक ऑन अप्रिल आई गेस यू नो स्ट्रेटली नोटिस दैट देयर वेयर लॉट ऑफ टाइनी टाइनी फ्लावर्स वेयर फ्लावरिंग एंड इट वाज इन येलो इन कलर नॉट मच बिग स्मॉल इन साइज ओके सो देयर वेयर लॉट ऑफ फ्लावरिंग अराउंड दिस रूबी नेकलेस सकुलेंट but it was not on the top it was just tip of the succulent and it blooms right from the winter to the spring i'm really looking forward to get lot of you know flowering from this beautiful ruby necklace or you can say strings of pickles as you could see friends that my you know my string of pickles are just trailing just right to my window I just kept here it here reason to make my succulent leaves of you know ruby necklace to completely reddish purple in color See I wanted to show you can you see here the depression It seems like that sickles has appeared because when it is lacking of water when you will see more of wrinkles this kind of wrinkles i will show you this kind of see look at that here this kind of wrinkles around okay the surface of this ruby necklace succulent so it means we need to water it properly now what time has come to be water it okay and another reason is that at the same time when you over water it that times also this this kind of you know wrinkle appear on the surface on the body of this succulent okay see how it is slender so yeah we have to maintain the soil capacity like in my case what, what i will do i will insert my you know finger right to the soil and you know while taking out my finger i if i could notice still my you know my finger is dry then only i am going to water my succulent and guys one more interesting thing about this once the succulent gets watered okay you will notice that the leaf of succulent is anchors and fat okay it is because you know succulent stores water in their leaves 
that is the reason of not watering succulent within a short period of time right look at there their leaves of succulent is so pretty i just simply love color combination red purple is there with a green leaf guys i wanted to show you you know for the second time i propagated my succulent from the cuttings right to the spot exactly when it comes to propagate you know a succulent from a cutting then yes yes there just here you know either small or long step of ruby necklace just below the knot here you can see yes just below the knot see one knot then here there is one knot then after that yes yes just below that knot you have to cut okay guys here i'm showing you see look at that that is the first knot then sec yes that is the first knot second knot uncountable are there and i propagated this small stem of cutting you know i inserted in this soil then within you know within one week the roots were developed so it's not you know tough to grow this succulent ruby necklace look at that it is just baby sapling okay they are just growing up now anyway let me tell you can you see these saplings these leaves of you know ruby succulent so you can notice here some depression okay it means it is like you know leaves are about to droop now they are drooping it means they want water time has come to be watered right you know there are some issues like while watering do not over water okay when only you can see leaves were drooping or something like top soil is dried then only we can go for you know watering to our succulent okay could you see there yeah see look at that my soil is dried now okay so let our soil to be dried in this way it should be completely dry top layer of this soil i am really happy to see that my cuttings are really growing healthy and see it is slender tall thick okay anyway friends i wanted to show you yeah it is my chinese dune scarf succulent okay this one i bought on last december so growing also see from can you see yeah yeah from that okay see how beautiful it is below that okay below that petals yes okay see just below the right there right there okay can you see from there see one stalk has come out okay on the tip of that stalk can you see yeah this is how it grows yeah from this after few after some days um you know lot of uh, roots will be developed and one more thing when you allow these flowers to you know so touch the soil then what will happen the root will be formed okay and this is how this plant chinese dune scarf will be grown or you can say the growth will be chinese dune scarf will develop in this way and guys it is absolutely semi parcel okay so when it comes to mixing the soil then as i told you a part of sand a part of paralite a part of vermicompost and half part of garden soil i'm sorry i forgot to tell you half part of coco peat okay okay guys i wanted to tell you this you know chinese dunes cup this succulent like to stay in moist okay it really does not like to grow in a you know dried soil to make our soil full with moisture we what we can do we can mix with the coco peat right it's like partial sunlight once you keep it near to the straight and direct sunlight 
then uh, you know you will notice color of the leaves will be turning to grayish okay now when we have to water to this succulent yes uh, we have to water to this succulent when the upper layer of the soil is completely dry then only we can go for you know um, watering yes guys i wanted to show you this one my you know jelly beans succulent actually what happened few days ago it was full with the you know uh, leaves of the succulent but what happened you know, quite few days it has been raining in our place really i wanted to keep my succulent to the sunlight okay since water was soggy but all of a sudden and you know one of my hanging pot it fell straight to my gel on the top of my jelly bean pot okay so you can see here branches of my jelly bean it broke now see look at anyway friends here i wanted to say if you want to make bushy this jelly bean you know then you have to just pinch tip of the any of stems of the jelly bean okay you have to just pinch there once you do that what happen the another branch will come out from you know not of the jelly beans another branch will appear see look at that look at that that is how the branch will appear and and jelly bean will be bushy and you know friends jelly bean does not like dried soil okay it like soil which is full with the moisture okay so to maintain the moisture in the soil we have to add cocoa peat as i told you and you know it's not that you have to since it's like so moisture of the soil and you have to water it frequently it's not like that you have to water it when the top layer of the soil will be you know dried suppose a leaf of this succulent you know fall there to the soil then from there only you know root will come out along with the leaves so it's not hard to grow right let me keep there you know it's very easy to propagate jelly beans you can propagate either with the um, leaves or cuttings okay it's very easy to propagate and you know within seven days the root will be formed and friends it can grow only on sand as well just what you need you just put one leaf onto the sand and you know the root will be formed friends here you can see my another you know trailing jet plant it is and near that sula water it is just growing i have grown with the cuttings only so it is you know near uh, you can say it is on growing stage now okay now what kind of soil preparation should be there as i told you friend one part of cocoa peat one part of soil one part of paralyte and one part of you know and permi compost another variety of succulent which i'm growing now is i think so it is sedum variety so it is very easy to grow with cutting of stem then with the leaf also you know so you can see there see the here also the sedum leaf is full with the flesh and gores and it another one you know their leaf has fallen straight to the soil and from their root you know started developing yes that is how you can grow this you know variety of sedum it's very easy and the top of that succulent does not want so much of care but provided that we have to make our rich you know potential potential for the plant okay where we can mix with the vermicompost or we can mix with the cow dung so manure should be you know appropriated where our succulents can be grown without any hurdles right when it comes going to water then 
we have to water when the top layer of the soil is you know almost dry please let me tell you the name of my succulent okay so this one is Chinese dunes cup succulent it is a peperomia caperata plant it is also a semi succulent okay yes it is also very easy to grow we can grow it either by cuttings or you know with the leaves it's very easy to grow with the leaves only just you have to place the leaf to onto the soil then after a few days the root will be developed okay friends i do not have much okay varieties of succulent i have very few of them but trying to you know keep them as lovable as my kid okay <laughs> What we need in the case of our plant, okay? Just they want our attention, lots of love, okay? Miraculous touch of us, that's all. And in return, they will rectify themselves with good health, with good growth. Once I told you, friends, that my jelly bean, all the lips broke, that is stem broke, you know? So I did not throw the uh, leaves of the jelly bean. So what I did, I took, you know, handful of sand. Then onto the sand, I just placed my all the leaves of my, you know, jelly bean succulent here. You can see there. And finally what I did, I took, okay, plate full, full with the plate of sand. Then on the top of the sand, I'm just placing all those, you know, leaves of the jelly bean now can you see root has developed here see see look at that yeah can you see please yes root has developed a tiny root okay and friends most probably on my upcoming video i will try to show you how i propagated my you know jelly beans leaf okay and friends we need not to take a big pot, okay, to grow the succulents. Small pot will be better for them. Yeah, like 3 inch or you can go for 4 inch or you can go for, yeah, 2 inch. Well, those kind of pots will be very good and sufficient for them to grow, right? And here, okay, what I did, can you see? <laughs> yes, I just, you know. I just attach one bell there, okay? That is a jingle bell. Just to beautify my, you know, my trading succulent of ruby necklace. So you can also do that just to beautify, you know? We have a lot of ideas how to beautify our, you know, our plants, our succulents. And friends here, yes, exactly right there. I just, you know, propagated this kind of succulent exactly I think so the name of this succulent is Ichi Pera or something I don't know I, so I propagated now I took half part of coco peat half part of you know sandy soil then there only I just you know laid upside down so you see can you see so now it is so beautifully it has been propagated now I think so within a free very few days it will be ready you know to report that time also I will try to you know make a one video and update all of you it's beautifully yes. look at that I don't think so succulents are that hard to be grown okay it is easy actually it is very easy if you know the right process how to grow right Yes, now I could remember the name of this succulent. It is Ichiberia succulent. And friends, time of propagating, okay? And do not shower any water or else it may rot. Putting in the basket or you can put in the, you know, terracotta pot. There are plenty of ideas where you can execute your, you know, your skills. How to decorate your ruby necklace succulent. You know, we can make this succulent bush here by pinching a tip of that. Once it will be pinched rightly there, another development will be started from 
other nodes, right? Look at the condition of the succulent. It is being drooped, right? And lot of wrinkles started appearing. I noticed the upper layer of the soil is completely dry now. So today I decided to water and fertilize my succulent. Okay. Always before fertilizing, try to check the soil with a garden tool. Once we, you know, finish to dig in the almost upper layer of the soil, then only it will be appropriated to fertilize, right? You know, friends, the best time to fertilize our succulent is when it is in spring, when daytime temperature is stay above 60 degrees, okay? And you know, the best time of day fertilize is the late afternoon or early morning. Today I am using, you know, DAP, that is D ammonium phosphate. And succulent likes to grow, sorry, succulent likes, you know, DAP fertilizer. When you fertilize DAP to our succulent, it grows faster, okay? You can either take water soluble DAP or non water soluble DAP. Here I am taking, you know, water soluble DAP. So I am taking some amount of granules so i already took one glass of water okay and more than 12 granules then i kept for some time just to dissolve okay and friends yesterday i watered it thoroughly to all my succulent look at that how alive and active it is looking now after fertilizing the DAP. Anyway friends, if you like my video then please like, share and subscribe, okay? Until I meet you again, till then, bye bye, take care.